Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader. Welcome to this recap session. So I'm going to be going over nine trades that I took on the 6E. The 6E traders is the currency, is the, the Euro currency futures market. And each tick on that market is $6.25. So it basically models exactly what's happening on the Forex market. So rather than trade the cash market for Forex, we're going to be trading a contract that's put out by the CME. And what I love about this contract is uh, it's got a fixed commission rate with most brokers. And to me, it's sort of like a fairer way of trading. I don't have to worry about brokers behind the scenes or anything like that. But I want to show you how you can really make your trading simple by trading with the trend. Now, I took these trades, uh, I think it was about between 3 and 4 a.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. I run a live trading room and I fired these off just before we started the live room. And so, as you'll see, uh, $475 in gross um, was gross before commissions. After commissions, $375 on two contracts. Now, I did do one thing. I did make an actually a mistake as I was trading here. I double click once and actually shorted, as you'll see, four contracts rather than two. Now. That actually, it's okay if you've got a larger account, that's mighty fine. But if you've got a smaller account, that could be problematic. So uh, technically speaking, I did on one trade have four contracts out. But overall, that was a 108. If we just, just allow two contracts on the nine trades, that was $187 each contract. Now, the point here is what if it was 10 or even 20 contracts so what I want to do is teach you how to day trade the right way the first time so stay with me and we'll get to the live charts in a moment so first of all I do need to put up that there is a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose very very important and that's a great thing about most trading platforms today we can trade on the simulator until we get it right now if you haven't already you can also click on the link below and download uh, my training manual or I should really say one of my manuals getting started as a day of swing trader and I've got another one just here that you can download which I'll explain in a moment you can download my free compound trade in uh, income calculator let me get this right uh, and there's a little video on how to correctly use this so it's a conservative trading or, or calculator let me get this right. once again traders I don't run to a script okay <laughs> um, so this is a calculator that will calculate where you potentially can take your trading career doing it the right way which I will explain in a moment uh, and very important please make sure you subscribe to my channel I put out three videos a week so you can be kept up to date with my videos now down here as I say to traders get rich slowly is yes there's so much on the internet and Google and YouTube and even on Twitter nowadays showing you how you can get rich quick as a day trader well traders I say get rich slowly I'm going to be showing you how realistically you can build an income fairly quickly 500 to 10,000 a week starting with a small account so what we want to do is set some targets to do that and this is really relevant when it comes to trading the 6e now if you're going to trade the currency futures markets I'd recommend that you have around if you say trading the the Aussie dollar the Australian dollar around 2000 and of course if you don't have uh, uh, 2000 to two and a half as I'm about to show you here you can start off by of course trading the micro ES the micro NQ um, so you can get started on some of those other markets with an account size of realistically 800 to a thousand dollars or more now I know your brokers will say look you can get going with a couple of hundred dollars but we have what we call the two percent rule and we never risk any more than 2% on a trade now what this really means this uh, particular um, chart here is and I've got it here as a better illustration and this is the calculator you can download is if you start off with two and a half thousand dollars in your trading account and let's just say you've got a target of $100 a day extremely realistic as you're about to see in a moment on the market I'm going to show you 
and if you go for $100 on two and a half do you know how much that is it's a 4% net return after commissions each day so and I should point out after commissions now what this has the potential of doing if you start with two and a half thousand and you go for a hundred dollars a day you've got the potential within 19 weeks to be earning ten thousand dollars a week if you're after five thousand sixteen weeks before you're doing that and how this calculator works and this is why it's important that you download it is here you're not uh, you're only starting off with one contract and you're not uh, going to two contracts until you double your money so until you've got five thousand in your account here you just keep you leave your money in your account and you compound using the market's money now down here when I'm up at there at uh, trading 11 contracts I've got 28,000 in my account there at week 15 it's all the markets money and this means that I only start trading a second contract when I've doubled my money for each two and a half thousand in the account now there's another way I want to point this out to you is that where I say a hundred dollars what that means on this market it means 16 ticks and psychologically quite often it's good to look at your trading and say okay in tick value or point value rather than dollars now what if I went for 125 a day this tells me that if I earned 125 a day uh, here I've got the potential there of uh, earning their uh, 10 grand a week in only 15 weeks and the maximum I sort of say to members uh, for a newer trader well as you're about to see and I'll show you how I do it and there's I've got lots of examples over many days to show you but this is in, in one day 150 a day you're there you've got the potential there within 12 weeks of basically being on an income uh, of 10,000 a week and you've built your account from two and a half up to there of around uh, fifty thousand dollars now very important of course this takes time and this is what I call an internship you've got to give yourself time to get there but as you're about to see it ain't rocket science so here you can see where you can go with this and as I've got down here I say to traders look target between you know 16 to 24 ticks per day and here are just the different like if you go for like five six tick trades a day or four seven tick trades a day and they're what I call two B's if you go for that you've hit your target and I'll show you how we do that in a moment now what if you only go if you're happy for 100 a day um, maybe you just want to trade for an hour and a half two hours a day uh, this is the way you can actually do it three good seven tick trades a day and I'll show you how to do that again uh, once again in a minute now as I show you what I'm about to show you, you might say look this is almost too easy if um, why isn't everyone doing this and my answer is the easy things are also easy not to do and what I tend to find is traders get very cocky um, uh, after a winning streak they want to add to the rather than say going and keeping their risk within 2% they'll start risking 5% uh, impatience of course and also the other thing is uh, is starting their career off the wrong way baby steps and that is if there's so many different trading strategies I'm going to show you a couple when we go to the charts as I said I'm going to keep this to about 30 minutes this video is you've got to make it baby steps baby steps if you start I call it the Goldilocks rule actually um, uh, not too hard not too easy just right and that is start off with one or two strategies and build from there start to introduce other strategies such as I'll show you a couple of quick scalps I took however with scalping you want to wait until you've got some um, uh, greater experience now as we're about to go to the charts very important here is that you can day trade using any chart type I love Renko and tick charts so you can use tick charts you can use some um, standard time based charts uh, Renko range it, it really doesn't matter and you can apply the exact same setups doesn't matter what you trade whether it be stocks futures or Forex okay so here let's go to the charts now and um, what we're going to do is just look at the trades I specifically have taken so and actually I took some on the uh, 6j as well so I'll, I'll show you that as well the 6j is the yen which is a great market 
as well now typically on volume you sort of have 150,000 to 200,000 a day as far as contracts go on a fairly typical day sometimes up to 300,000 so you've got plenty of volume and what I love about this market uh, you've also got uh, great trading ranges so you've got lots of sort of um, volatility there lots of waves sorry about that that beeping noise is my air conditioner um, so let me just start from the top here and this is a trend so as I mentioned this is uh, about 3 a.m. Uh, uh, Central Standard Time now first of all there's a couple of key factors in trading that you need to learn um, very quickly and there are actually six of them that is major support resistance areas these are very easy to learn uh, most trading platforms will plot these automatically now for an example that blue line here is a pivot that's uh, a PP the central pivot there that white line is the prior days close and this uh, magenta line that actually is the current trading sessions low of the day so there are six levels or turning points that we learn first of all how to trade pivots because pivots are what we call predictive indicators so are the prior days open high low on close so is the the high of the current day's trading session and the low your major swing lows are of great deal of interest to us as well and so are the major EMAs so particularly on what we call our anchor chart so we use a, a, a lower time frame to be trading in the direction of a higher time frame we want to be surfing the waves with the major tide behind us if you like so what if I missed there we've got uh, the pivots the open high low and close the swing low um, uh, we've got that there's something else there I'll, I'll think of it as we go along so let me just explain these trades now first of all you want to learn early in your career how to identify the change of a trend and see these arrows here this is a very simple concept that I got off a higher time frame CCI many years ago that and I've been doing this now for 27 years and so it allows me to identify major turning points so we want to be trading in the direction of those <clears throat> excuse me and I actually call that a t20 and what you'll notice is I give most things codes just so on the chart so I don't have to go and type in big long names etc but let's start with the first trade of a day the first trade of a day I took here at this stage just before we opened the room uh, was a double top and you can see we rallied up to very strong resistance here at this white line is the prior days close and the pivot didn't take that one but then I formed a nice double top and we actually had divergence on two different time frames that we trade so we I call that a t7 and it was also what we call a pivot bounce now why we're here we've got a trade we call a pivot magnet pivot magnet trades are 85 percent plus trades that is under certain conditions when you buy with the trend into pivots or other major areas of support resistance but it's a trend following strategy that kicks butt big time so out of that uh, I um, easily hit my target and uh, on two contracts thank you very much now I then fired off a scalp here now on this scalp I was actually hoping to get down to the prior days low uh, my apologies to the current days low that's that magenta line there and that virtually what we call a pivot magnet now it only traveled down a few steps and uh, a few bars there and then we started to turn so I got out of that with only a couple of ticks a quick scalp now generally trading with the trend into the uh, current days high or low is a pretty good 
trade but here I actually and I'll explain this one in a moment well I actually missed it twice however I still come out okay picked up a couple of ticks out of that and I then scalped this trade up to uh, the 34 EMA and that was a quick scalp for only a few ticks quite frankly what I'd be advising newer traders don't take these trades initially you want to focus on the two B's which is this one here and I'll show you some others oh, and you had one there as well um, and I'll show you the two B's because they are trading with the trend much easier setup to learn so then I jumped in here as a, uh, a, a 2B here and once again I was targeting the low but uh, I only picked up well not as many ticks as I'd like because I started to reverse and I got out now I then took this here as a pivot magnet trade it was also a 2b now pivot magnet trade is where we're targeting for certain uh, support or um, resistance areas so here I ended up getting out of this and only picking up uh, I think it was four ticks three or four ticks off two contracts still a nice little trade there so it was um, uh, one two was that uh, three four five uh, six out of six on the six E now what I do want to show you here is that uh, then we had the live room kicking after that with my members uh, winner winner so you had two B's then all over the place but let me now pull over and so these were uh, on my account let me now show you on the yen now the great thing about about the currency futures markets you can uh, use lower time frames so on the uh, the 6 I was just showing you I was using a two tick chart now what that means is this if I'm using a two tick chart uh, typically let me just pull up another uh, sheet here well I'll just show you here so on a two tick um, my maximum stop loss here is going to be around 50 dollars so it's going to vary um, on average uh, well actually that's not quite true sometimes you might under a certain type of trade you might be up to uh, 6250 you might have a 10 tick stop but usually it's going to be an eight tick stop now if I use an entry quarter rule of one which we use in a very strong trending market it's only a six tick stop but if I get away and trade with only a one tick uh, chart I'm always using a six tick stop 99% uh, of the time let me be careful making global statements so therefore the lower of a time frame the small of a stop loss and uh, and usually you can go for a larger target because you're in earlier so here this is fairly typical now on the 6e sorry on the 6a the Aussie dollar here it's only five dollars a tick and believe it or not the one dollar 25 extra really makes a difference to your trading I call it it really covers your commissions so typically your commissions depends who your broker is need to trader it's well under five dollars trade station a bit over five dollars uh, you don't want to be paying any more than really 550 uh, on this market now here on the yen I shorted here this is what I call a t20-1 now notice here the arrows so that tells you when I got the arrows for t20 chopping backwards and forwards that usually tells us that we're in a choppy zone we've got to be very cautious there. Now you can actually still scalp those because just here on the one tick I've only got a six tick stop six tick target you're still doing very well however I want you to notice here that here I now form a a, sorry a normal low but then I formed a lower high and that's where then oh okay I might begin in changing market direction I then formed a new lower low great I'm now in business lower high lower low I'm looking for my first setup and this is what we call a t20-1 it's the first setup that sets up after a t20 now unfortunately I only got filled it took off I only got filled on one out of the two contracts okay um, and so once again we trade two contracts and I switch accounts in the live room uh, so we trade two in the room that's why I've only got two on here at the moment and this is once again leading up to the live trading room so that was uh, mighty fine thank you very much uh, and eight ticks is my general target here now 
I should point out when will I go for a larger target than the eight ticks I'll go for a larger target when I've got a major support resistance area below me or above me in other words in short in here say if I had a pivot down here or if I had a major EMA over days low etc that is when I'll go for a larger target than eight six now you might choose to go for a larger target straight away and trail using your EMAs using our ATR there's lots of different things that we can use to trail the target but I'm a scalper in and out in and out that that's just suits me now over here then I had a little scalp here uh, for a couple of ticks and there was a particular reason I took that one for a scalp and it just I just can't remember what it was now but anyway I got out of that but then I had and I got a full stop out here and look at this here I've made a new lower low I've made a new lower high and uh, look great and jumped in here and got stopped on it here come back and gave me a full uh, eight tick stop out now in fact one two three four five uh, it was actually oh no six so it gave me a full six tick stop out okay that because we're on the one tick just got to remember which time frame and that's the beautiful things about now with um, matrixes and ATMs you can code all of this in or put this in and have it um, your uh, stop losses of course your targets all automated now but that unfortunately come back and stop me out now this is what I'm looking for like here you can see here this orange cloud here and it doesn't matter what trading platform you you're using when I'm uh, training traders it's really just the, we're just trading in the direction of the EMAs now uh, I know why I answered that it was what we call a t3 <laughs> okay so for members that are watching this that was a t3 a t3 trade is uh, for, for traders that are watching this that are not members of mine I've got over 10,000 members now uh, is a t3 is a reversion or a mean reversion trade a snapback trade and that's a fantastic setup that you get uh, on the currency futures um, uh, you get more in the currency futures I tend to find than on say the ES or trading oil but that's what that scalp was okay you got a nice bubble it snaps back now let me show you here what my next trade is now first of all let me just teach you here what we're really looking for okay we've now in a downtrend we can see here we're in a downtrend now usually we'll stop right here at the 89 EMA and this will turn into a 2b it's not rocket science what we're looking at do I have trending EMAs yes I do see the blue arrow there that's what I call you've got a t20 just there and this is what we call a t20 trend continuation that is we continue back in the direction of the trend but before that even set up I had another two and actually was a 3b set up just here now a 3b is a trend following either a 2b or a 3b a trend following setups they're the ones that you want to master early in your career okay very easy to learn now I might as well talk to you just here may as well here we're running ahead of schedule so I might as well just quickly talk to you about uh, trade entries trade stops and trade targets when I enter a trade I'm looking for a number of indicators to confirm my entry but the main thing is here is price action the EMA is am I in a trend and entering in the direction of my anchor chart one and two and on the entry chart now newer traders can sometimes find having three charts a little challenging so as long as you've got really your entry chart and then a higher time frame and I've got a formula that we use to identify to set up your higher time frame now we enter the trade I want to see my stop loss one tick above the swing high here like here one tick above the high so and you notice here that I have stopped out there one tick above that swing high now there are some other exceptions to the rule we might and um, use a stop say if we're in a runaway market and we use a, uh, a market order I'm usually using a buy stop or a sell stop order 
okay so then I've just might sometimes I might get some slippage just got to adjust that so my entry my stop goes above or my stop would go below it go above it go below it, if I was entering here it'd be above now let's talk targets now on this market I have a fixed target of typically eight ticks because that works well for me okay now you may remember earlier I was talking to you about um, our targets now here four seven tick trades a day make you very wealthy that's the bottom line so what trade or what setup will give you that it's these deeper bull pullbacks I'm showing you right now called the two and the three B's okay so you're an 80% plus trade typically you'll get eight ticks now there you only need four seven tick trades a day okay right or t20s and t20-1s why because if you cannot identify to um, how to enter a trade when the market is turning into a new trend direction you'll generally get a much larger move so anyway the thing here is with your targets using a fixed target but the other technique I look at is where is the last prior major swing low now there's this one here but that's not the closest major one you've got one over here okay so typically you can target and you can see here I was out right to the tick at that swing low not rocket science pretty straightforward and did I increase my target there one two three four five six seven eight uh, no I didn't okay so I just went from because what I'll do quite often is that that's the exception of a rule is that for me that is if I've got a pivot down here or if I've got a major swing low uh, or if I've got that for days low etc I'll whack on a couple of extra ticks now then uh, so I had a loss had a win uh, and then I was wrapped up for the day all wrapped up what was that $187 per contract now that is a 2b just there this is a 2b that is a 2b we then change market direction and you've got your t20 now here is one of these mean reversion trades I was going to what uh, I was talking to you about here but I took here you had one there I'm just checking the timing yep you had no problems uh, let me just check that one yep so you had a t3 there now a t3 is a mean reversion trade it's when you get a bubble okay that sits up but there's very specific rules now don't be fooled when a lot of traders will say oh that was too fast to trade well 56 56 uh, 56 look you had two minutes there however that was also at 4 a.m. what you've got to watch when you trade the currency market, and even the ES and oil this time of morning it's usually the Frankfurt you're getting the Frankfurt open you're then getting so you're getting the German open you then get the London open so you are just going to make sure and be cautious when you trade right on the round hours and right there look at that there so right there rallied up 33 33 now my interest is not going to be to the four so there I had two minutes to get into this trade here and away it went from there now here's another great example of and here's another 2b here now we call this a 200 EMA overshoot by the way very very high probability trade providing where a couple of other rules we apply to it but see our pivots down here and here you've got a confluence of three things the close of the day the prior close a floor pivot and the low of the trading session very very high probability so traders I'll wrap this up now just before we do though um, uh, let me just quickly go back to my PowerPoint here so all of these strategies uh, I've been doing this for 27 years now a long long time and I've sold thousands of my courses and I run a live trading room and a live coaching room and by the way on the coaching room just to uh, uh, show you this here just very very quickly so I run uh, a live coaching room for traders uh, twice a week 
okay and just to give you an idea here I've been running this for years all right so here I've been running it for what is it now I think eight eight years I've been running for it in total now in my training sessions which I teach traders there's powerpoints there's handouts there's a ton of goodies that we cover in each session but most important we cover trades of the day so for $197 you can get all of my indicators there's no upsell on my indicators so I've got indicators for NT8 7 MT4 think or swim if you trade with trading view I've got the coding or a number of indicators for that provided by the members but most you know but there and I give you the settings anyway um, so you get over 20 hours of live training sessions that are recorded but over 200 hours of training but you, the good news is you don't have to go through all of that so $197 plus included in that I'll give you one month in my coaching room so that's live and recorded sessions so if you can't attend the live sessions which are two hours they're also recorded so if you wish to attend after the first month as a special it's only $97 a month but that's your you've got to opt into that at the end of the month so $197 you basically get my entire program you can apply to any market whether it be stocks futures or Forex uh, and you can also attend then a month of coaching where I'm teaching traders uh, how to trade so um, uh, come and join me so you can click on the link to join me there but make sure of course that you've opted in to keep updated with the videos as well and of course you can get that compound calculator that I've shown you but better still come and join me in my coaching room so thank you traders we're right on 31 minutes so I'll wrap up now by the way I've then got um, about to record some other ones this is four out of four on the 6c uh, this one here is 11 trades seven winning trades four losses now three trades uh, I shouldn't have taken and that's the difference here traders is and and by the way I always target 150 just to show members that it's really very and that's it's always usually with an hour or two I do that just to show them it's very achievable but the point is here I'll also teach you if I make a mistake uh, and usually it's because I wasn't focused because I'm I've got so many members I'm running a live room and coaching and preparing so I'll be trading as I'm doing other things that's not what you want to do so there were three trades in this session I should not have taken and one of them yes I stopped out that's just the way it goes but three of them I was stopped out on uh, which I had no business to be in I shouldn't have taken them there's a couple of um, very um, just minor things I didn't check which would have kept me out of them and that's the difference is I'll teach you the good the bad and the ugly and what not to do and what to do of course but anyway I'm going well over time thanks traders I'll see you in the next video cheers